Today we are doing a comparison. And what do we got? We have the Linea Mini by La Marzocco and we have the R60V by Rocket. Hey, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear and we're just gonna go over the features of these two machines and let you become a somewhat familiar with them and anything we don't talk about here, you can always find on our webpage on the specs, you know, under each one of these machines. Let's talk about the Linea Mini first. They took their actual commercial machine, downsized it for people to have at home because they have the Linea that they use in commercial and this is the Mini, this is just your home model. It's a double boiler machine. It has uh, stainless steel boilers. It has a uh, true 58 millimeter uh, full, you know, professional grade portafilter. And I'd like to point out on this portafilter, stainless steel instead of chrome plated brass, which is really quite nice because on the inside, the, bra uh, the chrome plating seems to uh, dissipate on those chrome plated brass ones and yeah, the brass starts coming through and you can possibly get a little bit of flavor going on there. It also, see the angle? That's kind of nice. It's flat right now, you can tamp it. Let's say you're tamping too hard. This is actually a breakaway spout. It'll fall off so that you don't damage the spouts or your countertop. Also, see this flat spot here? Put that right down on the counter. And I see the professional guys doing that a lot. While I've got this off, brew head right here, hot water right here. This is the tap for it. This is the uh, two manometers. This is the uh, pressure that's going on inside the boiler. And this is also the pressure that happens at the brew head. So if you have your grinder, your coffee, and the tamp and everything proper, it's gonna prop up to about 10 and then come back to about nine and a half and that should be right. At the end of the day, they'll play around. It's all up to what tastes good to you. Drip tray right here, which is, this is really a nice drip tray. It's nice and large, has a uh, nice, nice capacity. Water tank under here, right here, and it has a lid on it. You fill it like this, which is kind of nice. It keeps any foreign debris out of there. They like, ah. Let me just show that. It's showing that it needs water. If the water gets down to a level where it's, uh, you need to add water, it's gonna blink. It also disables the power button right here. It's gonna come on in a second, which means if there's no water, you can't burn up the boiler. It's gonna shut it down. So that's a good feature. Stainless steel polish casing, as you can see all the way around. Uh, a paddle up here to control your brew. Steam over here, hot water like I mentioned. Also, this machine uh, comes with a PID built into it and it's right over here. It is a wheel that has numbers on it and you can turn it and uh, dial in what temperature you want. And I got from good source that it actually works pretty accurate that if they change it just a little bit, it's reflected at the brew head. They did some uh, testing of it. So. That's the Linea Mini. The other thing it has when you're brewing, uh, this has a one second pre-infusion built in from the factory. You can't change it. It is what it is. It's the one second. Uh, also, you can plumb this machine in. It's a kit that you purchase after the fact if you want to plumb it in. And uh, so that's the Linea Mini. Let's move over to the R60V by Rocket. This is also a double boiler machine, stainless steel boilers. Uh, the uh, brew boiler on the inside, it has an insulation wrap around it. It also has the E61 brew head, which has hot water siphoning through it at all times to keep the temperature consistent. As it comes from the brew boiler out to your portafilter, it's gonna be a consistent temperature. 58 millimeter portafilter as well. Each one of these machines comes with a two portafilters, single and double spouts. So you don't have to mess around taking spouts or doing any of that off. You just pick up what you need. Two manometers as well here. This tells you what's going on inside the brew boiler. And this tells you what's going on again with your grind. If everything is consistent, it's gonna go up to 10, back off to about nine and a half. Drip tray right here. This machine comes ready to be plumbed right out of the box. You can use it with the water tank or the plumb kit that comes with it. This is the drain right here. Stainless steel casing, just like the La Marzocco, highly polished. Steam, uh, the La Marzocco has a four hole steam tip. This one is a two hole steam tip. Water right here. If you notice these valves are tipped out a bit, that's uh, according to Rocket, more easier accessibility for getting your water or steaming your milk. This is a lever machine. 
If you had this plumbed in and you pull it to that position, you will get a pre-infusion. Uh, you don't really get a true pre-infusion if you don't have it plumbed in. Three-way solenoid valve, which takes off the excess moisture off of your brew at the brew head and gives you a drier puck, and you get that on both machines. Any machine of this caliber is going to have that three-way solenoid valve. Uh, On-off button light, obviously, and if you run out of water, this is going to blink In s versus this one. It blinks over here too, but then it shuts off. It, actually, they both shut off the heating element so they don't burn up. Uh, the one machine, the one feature that this machine has that the La Marzocco does not, it, it has um, a PID that is a digital readout, and with that comes the pressure profiling. What's pressure profiling, you ask? I usually on most machines, as you're brewing, it brews uh, the cons the whole time, the 30 seconds or whatever it is that you're brewing. It will do it at nine, nine and a half bars, right in through there. Pressure profiling, you can actually change the temperature and the pressure throughout that 30 seconds. You have five different parameters you can play with, and there's three different pressure profiling settings that you can put those five parameters into. So you can play around with your coffee, decide what works best for you, temperature, pressure, and all that, and really dial it in. What's that light, you ask? We've had this question quite a bit. It's just a night light, that's all it is. Just highlighting the R back there. Water tank on this machine is right back here and right like that. Let me talk about some of the stats between these two machines. The Linium Mini Steam Boiler is 3.5 liter. The water tank is 2 liters. On this one here, uh, the steam is 1.7 liters and the brew boiler is 0.58. Water tank is 2.5 liters. Similar when it comes to that. Uh, the Linea Mini actually has a bigger steam boiler. So this one comes ready to be plumbed if you want it to, or you can use the water tank. The Linea Mini water, comes with the water tank, and if you want to plumb it in, there's a kit available, which uh, you can purchase. They're both great machines. The only thing left to show you is, and I'm going to get this out of the way when I do it, on this machine, if once you set all your parameters, you can take this off, take it off, throw it in the drawer and you don't have to worry about it. The other thing that this machine comes with is an app. They now have an app to uh, run on iOS or Android. So check that out. It's uh, available now. It was just for the Android, but now they have it for both to run the machine, which is kind of interesting, a little bit different. A lot of manufacturers are moving toward apps. I want to show you the steam pressure on these two machines. Two hole, nice and dry. Four hole. I would say the Linea Mini has it when it comes to uh, powerful steam. It's a little bit more powerful than the Rocket, I would say, but they're both very good. I wouldn't shy away from either one of them for that reason. I think they both do a great job when it comes to steaming. So that's the Linea Mini by La Marzocco. The R60V by Rocket. Check it out on our webpage. All the other specs that I haven't talked about are on there. Have any questions? Leave us a comment down below and ask, or write into our uh, support at seattlecoffeegear.com, or give us a call. Check them out. Let us know what you think. If you have one of these machines, we'd love to hear your comments. Have a good day. Uh -huh.